Receive our praise. Let it be pleasing in your sight. Come before you like sweet incense. Dwell in the midst of us. Teach us. React to our worship by releasing your word. Release answers. Release direction. Bless us and we will be blessed. Heal us and we will be healed. Thank you, Father Lord. Speak to me and speak through me. Give your word clarity and direction. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. Some people sat down before I even finished the prayer. Sue Tokbo. Can we stand? There is protocol in the kingdom. I didn't send you to wear shoes that is not your size. Always wear your size. Give the Lord a mighty hand and a sharp celebration. Hallelujah. You, now, you may now be seated. Kingdom, economics, and prosperity is what we're looking at this month. 
And by the end of this month, you shouldn't have a problem knowing how to align with God's purpose and will for your life. All right? So let's look. Today we're talking about kingdom, aligning with kingdom economic policies. Aligning with kingdom economic policies. Every country has policies. Economic policy, foreign affairs, foreign policy, uh, internal affairs. They have policy for defense. They have all kinds of policy. Policies are guidelines that will determine how they handle matters, how they react to people. If it's foreign policy, for instance, uh, a government says this is how we react to Iran. This is how we will relate with Ghana. That's foreign policy. All kinds. So in our kingdom, there is a policy for our economy. You, the sooner you grab it, the better for your life. Your work can pay you all it can pay you, but that's where it can stop. But if you want to enter into kingdom prosperity, you must practice kingdom economy and align with kingdom policies. Luke chapter 12, verse 16 to 19, and then 20 and 21, 29 to 31. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully, and he, brought, and he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, This will I do. I will, I will pull down my bands and build greater, and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say unto my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up, for many years, take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself, and is not rich toward God. See, and seek not ye what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink. Neither be ye of doubtful mind, for all these things do the nations of the earth, of the world, seek after and your father knows or knoweth that you have need of these things, but rather you shall, but rather seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. The Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. The economy of any nation is all the activities and everything that happens to determine the welfare of the citizens of that nation. The economy of the citizens of a nation, your private economy, is determined by the laid down policies of your country. Of your country. They say this is how things will be done. This is the kind of thing you do. For instance, if the government said they want to invest 20 billion into agriculture, any smart businessman knows that's where to pursue. That's where to send your, to make your investment. Because government is moving in that direction. That's where there's prosperity. I have a friend that used to, I don't know whether he's still in South Africa, but he's the first person to invite me to South Africa. I think he's the second to invite me on top. You know, <clears throat> he was, he's a pastor. He was a pastor with Redeemed. I used to pastor him uh, and all that. He said to me, uh, I am investing into education because South African government is pouring a lot of resources into education. They want to educate their people. So the private educators, the, all they did, needed to do was study um, what, uh, what ways to benefit from that investment of the government. Uh, what things the government is looking for. He went to register this company. At the point, he bought somebody's company, you know, and began to go after it. So it's so easy because the government is putting so much money there. That's an area of need. They have need for that in the country. So when he goes there to apply to train this grant comes, money was just coming. That's how he was able to be inviting me, you understand, and take good care of me, you know, give me offering. Because he understood the, the South African government, their, their policy, where they are investing. And they saw the, the, the direction of the largest investment. And people rushed there. Okay, that's how it is. In the same way, our kingdom has similar policies. See the heart of God. See his budget. See where his heart is going. And you can tell how easy it will be for you to be blessed 
if you follow his direction, follow his direction, see what he has said. To cut many long story short, God's governmental policy for prosperity in the kingdom is kingdom business. He said, seek ye first, Matthew 6, 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added. If you pursue kingdom, then it, your economy will naturally prosper and do well. Pursue matters of the kingdom and your economy, what the Bible calls these things, shall be added. And things is not just what you wear, put on, or drink and eat. Things are also marriage. He that finds a good wife finds a good thing. It's a thing. Marriage is a thing. Business is a thing. All these things will be added. So to get God, you don't try to chance him or try to do him emotional blackmail. Lord, you know how I've served you. What about this one that has not done anything? Oh, Lord Jesus, I'm suffering from hunger and all that. No. Look at what he has said. What is the direction of his heart? Follow that thing and things will happen natural for you. Just like if Nigeria decides to invest in agriculture. 100 billion naira or billion dollars. And you are here going to look for, 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 for gold. You, want, you are looking for how to mine gold. Is that not economic suicide? The government is putting money in agriculture. You are going to look, going to Joss, to Kaduna to look for gold. But before you find the gold, you would have turned to tin ore. You understand what I'm saying? Because there is no assistance there. The government is not putting anything there. Even though now they found, we have released some of our gold bars. So Nigeria, I hear it's from the north. Is it from the north? Eh. Yeah. They should share the way we have been sharing. Share they've been surviving with our all year. Now the all year is about to finish. They have found good. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. So you go into agriculture, go there. Whatever minimal effort you put there, bam, resources because the government is looking for people. I understand that good luck Jonathan had. Is it one week or 48 hours? Are that two days, three days or one week of some kind of economic summit in Aso Rock? With agriculturists, they sat down, they planned, they calculated, they came up with plans and then released money. That man that is the governor, I'll be the chairman of this bank, African Development Bank, was the minister of agriculture. Breakthrough we had in agriculture was not small, though. was not small because brain work entered into it. All manner of things began to come out. Me, I was telling people, I said, go into agri, leave all these things. They were pumping money in that sector. Because there was determination to diversify the economy. So that we make money from other sources. So a person wants to invest. You have seen the budget. Know where they are going. Go there. This is our kingdom budget. This is our kingdom policy. This is where our God is going. Find out his direction. And he has made it simple. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Tell somebody, pursue the kingdom. The kingdom is not just a place. It's the influence of a king on people in a particular area. The influence of a king. The obedience to that king. The honor of that king. God does not trust the governments of the world to do justice and to change the lives of people he created. Many of us think, that when God is talking about the kingdom, he's talking about only believers. No, the kingdom of God is such that unbelievers should feel God in an unusual manner, which includes the Muslims, includes the Fulanis, includes the unbelievers, the pagans. They are supposed to be affected. The only way some people will follow God will not be by preaching. There are many people that will never give their life to Jesus, no matter how hard you preach. There are many that will be born again when they feel the economic impact of the kingdom of God. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? They feel the economic impact. You met them and they were suffering. Or he's trying to count money to buy. You know how to balance between buying rice and gari? 
for a family of seven. He said, oh God, what are you trying to do? So I want to buy rice and gari. Just don't worry. I just, oh, don't worry. He said, how many are you in your family? Oh, we are seven. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's not that. It's not a temporary. It's about. And you stayed there and bought him one bag of gari and one bag of rice. Even if you didn't tell him about Jesus. He will go home and say, yes, Jesus loves me. He will know there is a weakness in every man when they see those things that it is God. When we allow unbelievers do it, we channel them to Satan. And whoever impacts a man with good, that man sticks with that person. Somebody shout hallelujah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There's a lot you can do. That's why Acts chapter 10 verse 38 talked about Jesus. That Jesus went about how God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good. Now there's no elaborate record of the good. We only have a few healing all the opp them that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. He fed the hungry but Jesus did. He went about doing good. His treasurer Judas was by his side. So you can imagine how many bills Jesus was paying. He went about doing good. God is looking for kingdom people that will pursue kingdom interests. People that will not think only about themselves. I can't tell you the year God started encouraging me to have a private account to take care of the needy. No be small. It's like he has fought me. Maybe himself got tired. But every once in a while, he will mention it to me. Why not start something? After a long time, I decided to start something. Small. I said, I'll be putting something and I will forget. So one day, he arrested me. He said, cut this thing into how many like this? Put it there. I tried to pretend as if I didn't hear. I transferred it to an account where I would save it. I waited for it to show a lot. It didn't show. I waited, it didn't show a lot. Two days after, he bounced back to the account. And the Lord said, send it here, it will go. Brethren, I sent it there and he went. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? I sent it there and he went. So, now, waiting for instruction. What am I going to do now with this? Because when... Uh, it's just about the same thing. You save money, save money, save money. How many of you know them? Some useless children who don't have head will come and sell their father's property very soon. Sell companies. When the Bible said transfer of wealth, transfer of wealth is not that they will come and give you something. You will wait till, like, till Nebuchadnezzar come back. You won't see anything. You understand what I'm saying? People who have some cash will buy from children who don't have head. I, I was in pain that I didn't have plenty money the way I should have money. I saw duplex houses for 10 million. Duplex, 10 million. They were selling, throwing away houses. Election will soon come, they will start again. Selling cars. Cars that should go for 10 million, 15 million, sell it for 7 million, 5 million. We just believe God to increase us so we can take advantage of those things. Companies will be sold. Not long ago now, one of us bought a house for 10 million. A whole house in an estate. Oh, land in the estate may be almost that price. Now a house on top. Because somebody want to, want, wants to want to get away. Want to get away. Where you want to get away to? I want to get away to Canada. He's going to Canada. You understand what I'm saying? So he, he sold the house. After saying it, as he called the man, he said, please don't tell anybody the price. Don't tell anybody the price. When, when you go to do this thing, don't just te tell them another price. Are you getting what I'm talking about? I went to dedicate the house. Fine house, fine estate, fine location, everything fine. Are you getting me now? In the same way you save and save and save and there is an opportunity. Somebody is in a dying, in, in a dire situation and all that. How much is this thing? They say it's so, so, so amount. It is nothing to you because you have saved way above this. Please, we, we, let me solve this problem for you, please. Pam, pam, pam. And you solve the problem. 
an entire family of 20 will stop crying. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Because you, are, you, you were deliberate, you were intentional. You had such a thing. And you clean everybody's eyes. You go home, even if they don't give you food. The way you sleep will be sound. Joy will fill your heart. You will be excited. And those will be looking for you. During the pandemic, people were sending me. Now, through the pandemic, people that have become professional beggars. That's the beg with skill. But one particular man sent, there were two people I had to send money. I don't know them from Adam. But by the spirit of God, I could read. Because the people, people no matter how you try to be a professional beggar, you, you, you will, there will be a loophole. You will fail somewhere. Sharp guys like me will catch you. Save a dying soul. Is that how to beg for something? Save a dying soul. How do you know you are dying? <laughs> Is somebody hearing me now? <clears throat> so, this man said, please, pastor, first, he knew me, even though I didn't know him. Pastor, this, 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 this. The children, uh, no food. I told my wife to distract them with movie and video so I can see, move out and see what can happen. And they refuse to be distracted. Pastor, I'm very sorry for asking you for anything. Please, you will not say that's not a professional. He's just telling you the state of things. I didn't want to know his name. I said, send me your account number. Whatever small thing was remaining, I shared it with him and felt very happy. When I sent him, he said, I wasn't expecting this amount. Because what I wanted to send him before, because the way he begged, was that if I send you even 2,000, it will be okay. But I now counted the, him, his wife, and the children. What would they eat? And how, will they, how long will it last for them to beg again? So I said, let me send something that can hold body enough not to be losing video to distract children for some time. The man said, I wasn't expecting this. That tells you that, you know, I, 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 I designed it right. I, I wasn't expecting this. Oh, oh, pastor, bless, 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 bless. Another one from another state. There was another one that asked me. I said, where are you located? He said, Lagos. I said, let me introduce you to my friend. He does, they, have, they give away food. I connected him. He refused to, he still came back to me. I said, this one is a pro. He's a pro. It's not food you are looking for. If you want to survive. But someone else from somewhere, you will hear it in the tone of their voice. I spoke with some of us. They said, oh, Pastor, if you know how much I have had to transfer, I said, my brother, it is that season. Hallelujah. You do good. Do good to men. The thing is, don't be the one that wants to receive Challenge yourself to also do good to people. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Don't wait until you have all the money. Start with where you are. Start with your small pay. 1,000 can make a difference in somebody's life. Send money. Begin. Start with your family. Did you hear what I said? Start with your... Send to your mother. Send to any sibling that is challenged. Don't be doing good outside and people inside are crying and dying of hunger. That your giving is a nonsense. Even in the church, you start with the church. He said, do good to all men, especially to them of the household of faith. You start here first. Oh, you are doing good everywhere. Everybody is giving scholarship. People in church are speaking. My, my head, my shoulder, my knees, my toes. <laughs> How many of you saw that young girl? The governor saw that thing and said, schools must open. <laughs> I was there when the governor said it. He said he saw the video and said, you see, schools have to open. I don't care what people say. My head, my shoulders, my knees. <laughs> Hallelujah. When your head starts with your leg. <laughs> and your knees, your shoulder. Then you know that. Uh... <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> I said praise the Lord. So tell somebody, pursue the kingdom. What is the kingdom? God's influence on the earth. 
that influence is not achieved by preaching and prayer alone. It's achieved by money. By money. Believe God to put a serious money in your hand so you can influence this earth for God. Are you here I'm talking about? Somebody who receives money from you respects you till the day they die. Are you understand what I'm talking about? Eh? That you can influence lives. You can imagine you alone, you and maybe one or two brothers and sisters. You go to a certain community, mobilize some doctors, buy some drugs. You know that there is that place, disease. They don't even fear corona there because what they have is more than corona. Enough disease, multiple. You carry and they go treat them, give them drugs, come back after two weeks to do follow up. And the under community is fine, and they kneel down to pray, and you think your life will be normal. The prayer of a poor man is very deadly. <laughs> I am telling you the truth. If you want to come out of trouble, you want to come out of real trouble, look for some really poor people, make them smile, and don't tell them to pray for you. Let them pray by themselves. When the poor man tell you, turn it on. <laughs> when the poor man tell you, need now. Know that he don't vex. Hallelujah. <laughs> Some will tell you, need and then they will remove their shoe. And stand on the background. Let me find that court case will scatter. It will end on the death sentence will cease. But if you don't have money, you can't do it. You need money. You need God to bless you with money. Psalm 24 verse 1 says, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And, they, and all they that dwell therein, they belong to God. So it's not just God wants, every, every Muslim, everybody belongs to God. He wants to impact their lives. He created the earth and gave us dominion over it. Then he said in Revelation eleven fifteen, The kingdom of this world I become the kingdom of our Lord and, his, and of his Christ. He says in the book of uh, Psalm 22 verse 28. He rules in the kingdom of men. For the kingdom of, is the Lord's. And he is the governor among the nations. The kingdom is the Lord's. He is the governor among the nations. Donald Trump became president. Was going about his normal business. And his daughter... He put his daughter in his government. And the daughter got wind of human trafficking. Sex trafficking. She, I think immediately that happened, she found her purpose in the government. Walked up to her father. Within the first few months, and told the father, they opened up statistics. Opened up the trafficking ring. Da. Some of you listen to CNN. I advise you to shut it out of your TV screen. It will make you a fool. I am hiding my mouth. You should look for real news and listen to. Maybe go to YouTube and subscribe to some veteran journalists who don't have agenda. Share an agenda is to remove Trump. That's all. Tell them I say so. Eh? Huh? He went, she went to the father and they began. Because I have news outlet. That's why when many of you are overhyped about the virus, there are newses that I have. Uh, I'm telling you, it's terrible. The agenda in this thing. Okay. So, so, Trump, you know, he looks hard outside. Because don't attack him or he will attack you back. If you attack him, he'll give you like five and three to go home as in homework. Don't, he will never be quiet. He is a Christian. His Christianity does not reach that side. Maybe God is working on him. But you attack him, he will call you fake news right in front of your face. You know you are fake news. That's why your ratings are going down. To the, before the whole world. To enjoy him, leave him his lane, he will stay his own lane. But do you know what happened? 
the man got up, released security agents, released a triangle. They went first to his, I won't call the name of the country. There were like three countries where this traffic he physically visited one. Do the fanfare, everybody is seen on television. But privately, he talked with the government. Stop this one, stop this one, stop this one. That side closed. Physically visited another government. Before they say, praise the Lord, 3,000 pedophiles have been arrested from America alone to prison. Do you know how many? How many children get missing in America? They don't miss in Nigeria like that. When God gives you a place, blesses you with good, use it to do good. Gov now, governmental officials were so involved in it that the man, they had to advise some people, don't come back in politics. That's, as this term finished, just be going. It's, that's a favor we can do to you. Just go. In, do you know why they are fighting him from, be, from going for second term? If you know the level of investigations going on, the world is hanging on a balance come November in American election. If that man lose, Jesus will come the next month. Let's just go. Let's do what? They are young. This world will change drastically. I am not joking with you. But if he wins, da, buy popcorn and watch movie. People will go to jail like water. I am not joking. Those who know, know what I'm talking about. There are a few of us who, who have access to some news. What? This pandemic is against American election. It was created, part of it, by Americans and Chinese in Wuhan. The research first started in America. American people kicked against it. It cannot happen here. It's going to create a problem. They say, shut it down. Instead of them to shut it down, they transferred it to Wuhan and the man in charge of that, they released some millions of dollars from his budget to sponsor it. Let's leave it there. This world, eh, if God doesn't raise good men, we are finished. And if the good men don't have heart, like that man they call Trump, Makatabosha, he doesn't care. He doesn't even collect salary. He doesn't care. No, he, no, but he didn't collect money from anybody. All these big people. Nobody is blessed around you. Stop it. You are not fulfilling the kingdom. Seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, his justice, his fairness, and all these things 
when God sees that this is your direction, it's established. He begins to release because he knows where he's going. Huh? Come. One, two, three, four, five. Stand. Stand here. Just stand where you are like that. Face. This is God. It's me. You know I'm always saying. <laughs> so. <laughs> come play Satan. There's one comedian that says, Oh, Zulu. Let them know, come and use your children and play Satan in uh, play witch in school drama. <laughs> That's the loop for who to play with. <laughs> that guy is very funny. Praise the Lord. Where was I? This man is asking me, Lord, bless me with wealth. Bless me with wealth. And I, God, come and looked at him. I want to see, stretch your two hands. Where is, no, like, where is the hand going? Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Okay. Let's open his heart. Is that his heart? Okay. Let's do some test running. Test run. 100,000. Before they say praise the Lord, he has given his tight. Bam, 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 bam. That's right. Let's try 500,000. Bam. Brrr. It's in percentage. So the, the increase increases the percentage. Now these are not people, these are like projects. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, the poor, widows, orphans, kingdom project, uh, uh, um, scholarship among members in church. He's distributing like that. And then I release again. One million. He goes like that. Because let's test him, see whether his heart is good. Ten million. Bam! You know some people at the ten million level, they say, well, I've tried. <laughs> I've tried. You understand what I'm saying? But if this was 555%, five, five, five he releases the same 555%. Five, five, five wow. God says, uh, uh, finance department of heaven, book him down as one of our kingdom partners. Now let's put more burden in his heart for other as we release the next 100 million. They release 100 million. The man now still sits down. First cry and thank God. And adds visions to himself. And he's excited. He's still wearing some of his old shirt. Maybe just changed the shoe that was about to fall apart. And he's still looking normal. He's dressing fine and everything. Maybe even bought a car. But he has, he's affecting lives. God sees it. God says, I'm going to mess him up with money to the point he cannot be poor. Do you know Paul Yongicho say he has tried to be poor several times and he has failed. I read it. He said he has tried to be poor. How? By giving away everything. He has done it like up to five times. And he, he cannot be poor. Again. You, how many times have you tried to be rich? <laughs> you walk hard. Oh Lord, let me be rich. That is the way he says he's looking for how to be poor. God bless you. Do you know any time you ask God for things, God bless you. He looks at where it is going. Once he confirms where it is going, he releases it. He looks at your heart whether you can obey him. So let's round up today's teaching. I will continue on Wednesday. Or rather, we have one more service. Then we'll continue on Wednesday. Now listen. How do you pursue the kingdom? The kingdom is God's policy. The kingdom is God's policy. The kingdom is God's policy. If you want to grow in your economy, pursue kingdom advancement. So how do you do that? Number one, go after God. Go after the God of the kingdom. Pursue God. Seek to know God. Seek to know him. Jeremiah 9.24. He says, but let him that glory, or glory, glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, 
that I am the Lord which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, said the Lord. To execute what? Loving kindness, justice, and righteousness. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness in the earth, not in the church. So you go around, you are helping, you are a blessing, both in the church and outside. When you do that, the Bible says God delights in it. Started talking since Old Testament. I used to wonder when they say, my cup run it over. And I say, I don't know how to pray that prayer. How about my cup run over? So what happened with water run over? It's waste now. I was arguing with that one. I saw another one. I will pour you out a blessing. Your storehouse will not be able to contain. I say, you see now? So when you, when you pour out, for what? Then I saw, good measure, press down, shaking together, running over. Ah, ah, Lord, this is waste. The Lord said to me, what you, what you cannot eat, do you throw it away? I said, no. He said, it's for others, not for you. Wow. He said, that's the concept. When I give you, it runs over. So that you can remember other people. Remember other people. Something the Muslims do in their Salah and their Ramadan and all those things. They will kill goat and share with every neighbor. They used to do it for us. My father would say, we should go and throw away the rice. He's the other gift they used to send to go and throw it away. I don't know whether I used to throw it away. I, 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 don't, I don't know why they didn't send me to go and throw it away. The rice is steaming hot. Smelling fine. They so sugar and throw it away. Try me now. <laughs> Can I give everybody encouragement this Christmas? It starts past, so we have only Christmas left. Key goat. If you can't key goat, key fowl. If you can't key fowl, key hen. Or something. Make sure you share. Who is going to do that this Christmas? Affect me. I'm going to kill goats. All my neighbor, maybe the whole street, all the way down. That's my plan. I will believe God. On Christmas, I used to, in the month of December, I used to grade the road all the way to my house. From the highway to my house. I pay for it. They would tell me, thank you, thank you. Thank. They will soon see me. I will plan. I buy goods. Get guys to butcher it. And we wrap it in nylon. Not black, blue. Because black look like you know. Blue. You just take it from house to house. From pastor. From pastor. From pastor. House to house. I don't know if you know the next time I said, people of God, they want you. They will can it? Yeah, you can't charge. They will follow me. <laughs> or I tell them, all of you fast tomorrow. They will fast. Whatever I want, they will do. That's kingdom influence. With what? Small money. How much is good? How many? If I begin to save now, and I buy like five goats, and I kill everybody, collect some choice meat, and they eat fine. Maybe add one, one tube of yam. Is it not possible? It's kingdom influence. So that when you talk, they can hear. People are too hungry to hear the gospel. Are you hearing what I'm talking about today? Praise the name of the Lord. You know what they will do? They will begin to see you like a, a rich man. The man is rich. He used to give us things. Even though you are not rich, God will say, ah, they have called you rich. So I confirm. I confirm it. I confirm it. You are rich. Because it is not what you have that makes you rich. What you do. That makes you rich. Praise the name of the Lord. Who is still with me today? Somebody shout hallelujah. Seek relation. I will talk about this more on Wednesday. And maybe subsequently in the last service. No time. Seek the heart of God. Pursue relationship with God. The more you pursue, the more his heart you will know. And then you will know what to do. Tell somebody, walk on your heart. Number two way to pursue the kingdom is walk on your heart. Walk on your heart. God is interested in your heart before he can put anything in your hand. If your heart is not in order, your hand will remain dry. 
It was the heart of David that God saw and made him king. He saw David's heart. He searches the heart to know that no man knows his heart except God. He's constantly searching man's heart. That's why people you condemn. God is lifting them. You know why? You saw outside. God saw their heart. That's why he's not a man. Praise the name of the Lord. David prayed a prayer in Psalm 139 verse 23 and 24. He said, search me, O God, and know my heart. That's a good prayer. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. Namakoto Sakaya. If you do not give God access to your heart, he will not be able to trust you with his economy. If you don't give God access to your heart, he will not be able to trust you with his economy. Mm. God could not trust Israel with Canaan. Or the economic order of Canaan. Until he searched and tried their hearts. He searched and tried their hearts. See Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 1 to 3. You can stand because we are finishing from there. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 1 to 3. If the service is long, you know it's not my fault. Oh. I've said they should stand. Oh yeah, read. One, two, go. All the commandments which I commanded this day, shall you observe to do, that you may live and multiply, and go in and possess the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers. Try and read this one here. One, two, go. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these 40 years in the wilderness. To do what? And to do what? And to do what? And to know what is in your heart. Whether you will keep his commandments or not. Verse 3. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger. And fed thee with manna which thou knowest not. And so on. I like that verse too. To know what is your heart. God already knows what is your heart. He wants you to know it. He wants you to know your heart. Hallelujah. He wants you to know. You know how many Christians have become Muslim because of economic things? I'm telling you, become one day one Alaji Basi called me. How does he sound? Alaji Basi. He called me. He said, I want to see me, please. I said, What for, for what? So I said, ah, you are you are Alaji and Basi at the same time. <laughs> From youth service. He went for youth service. He saw that it would be easier to prosper by being a Muslim. He became a Muslim. Came back to you and lobbied and they made him the head of Muslim pilgrim board or something. Yes? And now he told me he want to marry one of our daughters. I told him we can do community project together as Muslim and Christian. There are things we can do together. When marriage, Senepa Woke. I told him, Christian and Christian are having problem. The Muslim and Christian, say, bros, iron and clay cannot mix. I told him, don't see me again. Allergy bus. You know, some of these are wicked sisters. They go and tell them to marry them. It's of them to tell the man to go. They say, you need to see my pastor. What do you want him to see me for? Don't you know what to say? You want to marry a Muslim. So if I tell you marry, you marry. Say, see my pastor. They are looking for who will tell the man to go for them. Anybody try that again, I will charge you. If not, I will tell them, go and marry her. It's okay. Pursue her. I tell you her father address. <laughs> Hallelujah. God wants to know you to know what is in your own heart. Some of the things he has put you through. See the way some of you have spoken against God. Sometimes the way you are doing things, God, I wonder whether you are the only true God. It's like there's another God somewhere that is higher than you. Because of hunger. I'm going to know hunger will reveal your heart. Praise the Lord. You will now know who you are in the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody shout hallelujah. 
to show you what is in your own heart. Let's stop here. Let's stop here. Uh, your, when they talk about heart, they talk about your motives. Your motives. I've not finished. I've not. We'll, let, we still have one more service. Then we'll meet again on Wednesday. Proverbs 16, verse 2. It says, Every man's way is right in his own eyes, but God weighs the heart. NLT. God weighs the motives. People may be pure in their own eyes, but the Lord examines their motives. What about uh, amplified? Amplified. All the ways of man are pure in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the spirits, the thoughts, and the intents of the heart. Walk on your heart. Leave the rest. God will handle it. What about message Bible? Humans are satisfied with whatever looks good. God probes for what is good. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not satisfied. This message has no message in it. Uh -huh, good news. You may think everything you do is right, but the Lord judges your motives. Hallelujah. Ask your neighbor, why do you want to be rich? Okay, if your neighbor wants to be poor, ask him, why do you want to be poor? Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Tell, tell, tell me one good thing you will do when you become rich. Neighbor, please answer. God is hearing. <laughs> Lift your hands and thank him, everybody. Bless his name. We lift our hands to the great time. Who was and who is and is to come? We lift our hands to the grave. somebody that needs to make peace with God. I want to pray for someone that needs to give their life to Jesus Christ. Someone that doesn't want to spend eternity in hell. They're saying, Pastor, I want to be born again. I want to give my life to Jesus. Wherever you are, please. I want to pray for you. A lot of us, you see, have encountered Jesus and things have changed in our lives. The song brother says, I would love to tell you what I think of Jesus Since, Since I found him a friend so kind and true, I will tell you how he changed my life completely He is something no other friend could do No one ever cares for me like Jesus there's no other friend so kind as he. No one else could take my sins and love from me. Oh, how much he cares for me. What's that other verse? When my life was full of sin, when Jesus found me. My life was full of misery and woes. Jesus laid his loving hands around me and he led me in the way that I should go. 
no one darkness from me oh our man he cares the woman was brought before Jesus in the act of adultery and they thought Jesus would say stone and Jesus said go and sin no more he said neither do I condemn you let me tell you I don't care what you have done Jesus will never condemn you man may condemn you Systems may condemn you, but Jesus will never condemn you. I want to pray for you. Maybe you are a backslider. You want God to restore you. You want to make peace with him for the first time or you want to rededicate your life. Please, wherever you are, pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for saving me. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. I accept your sacrifice on the cross for me. And I receive you today into my life as my Lord and Savior. I vow